Um, what I have to say <clears throat> in this video is quite difficult, but um, <clears throat> I know, I won't say that I believe, but I know that <clears throat> what I call my transcendental self, which is my real self, which is the real self of any empirical individual singular consciousness who thinks of itself as belonging to himself, his true essential identity is this transcendental self which is God and the principle of all things. And um, my empirical self is in contact with my transcendental self, so to speak. So I <clears throat> understand certain aspects of reality. And um, <clears throat> when, I, when I look at the news on the morning or at anything in the world, I see the will of this transcendental self being made manifest. And um, to give you an illustration, <clears throat> the current conflict in Ukraine and the tension with Russia, uh, I understand this. I, my empirical self, doesn't understand it, but my transcendental self does understand it, of course, because it is the cause of it. And I, my, my empirical self broadly tries to describe and explain what he understands, is that it's the yin and yang, it's Chinese philosophy, because um, people are starting to protest and demonstrate against the aggression of Russia, and they, they start to hate Russia, and they hate them only because it threatens what they love. So the love grows with the hate, and um, the heroes arise with the villains because uh, the, 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 the Ukrainian president is depicted as courageous and brave and Vladimir Putin as a tyrant, uh, an evil dictator, whatever. And there's a quote from Hölderlin, the, the German poet, who says, where the danger is also grows the saving power. This is a dialectical relationship. This is what the Chinese philosophy understands by the yin and yang, the both aspects. And these are both aspects of the transcendental principle of all things, which is God. So, <clears throat> the, the situation that my empirical self finds itself in is quite difficult, because I understand the broad picture and I try to communicate what is happening but as you can see my channel has not a lot of success for now there are maybe two or three people who watch my videos and I'm sure they don't understand uh, most of what I say but I understood in August 2018 when I had my God experience when I identified with God and with the whole of reality and I said to myself uh, I'm I am a nobody for now but someday I will become the most famous person on earth because everyone is me uh, not as a as an empirical individual of course but as a transcendental principle and I know that my videos will become someday very famous and people will will get angry against me because they will say but you knew all along and you did nothing uh, and I will retort, I did my best, and they will say, that's not enough, and here comes the conflict. So, I understand that, and that's quite, um, that's what we call a tragedy, because you, um, an, an opposition of two absolutes, uh, absolute 
um, intellectual understanding of reality and absolute reality in the form of physical reality collide and are in conflicts. And the purpose of Hegel's philosophy is to reconcile both, but for now it's not um, the moment. So I am, I am trying to share my knowledge with the parts of me who are still asleep and I myself as an empirical individual I am still asleep so I also try to share my knowledge with myself which is kind of a, a dialogue with the self which is dialectic but uh, yeah so <clears throat> I will I will do my best but the best is also the worst so I will just do and yeah <laughs>